the project started with one of our residents, uh, Dr. Stephanie Rashutsky, who went on a rotation. I was doing a rotation in pediatric medicine at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia as part of our pediatric dental residency program. And she saw them being involved in this project or Reach Out and Read America. I thought it was such a neat project that these children were getting books. She thought it'd be a great idea to do the same thing in the dental world. I thought that as pediatric dentists, we care about brushing and healthy bedtime routines. And so books are, are integral to that. So I asked if our clinic could participate in the Reach Out and Read program. And they didn't really want any parts of us. They said they don't work with dental practices. They only work with medical practices. Instead of being disappointed, I decided, you know what, I'm going to figure out a way that we can do this. And so it sort of evolved from there, and I said, well, in order to buy the books, we need to get some money, so let's see what kind of money we can tap into to see if we can get some grants to maybe fund buying the books. And we were fortunate enough to receive a wonderful grant from the Dental Trade Alliance Foundation for our projects, Books, Brushing, and Bedtime. Age one is an important time that children come to visit the dentist. So it's a really great time to talk about healthy bedtime routines. For example, not putting your child to bed with a bottle of juice or milk or something like that. And at the same time, if you're talking about bedtime routines, you also talk about brushing and brushing with a small smear of toothpaste. And at the same time, we could discuss reading to a child because that makes for such a healthy sleep routine. So brushing and books seem to make sense. It takes a whole team to make books brushing and bedtime happen. It's not just one person. And so I was fortunate enough that there were some really wonderful dental students at the University of Pennsylvania. I was first year dental student, kind of in the throes of the really rigorous curriculum and kind of a busy testing schedule, and I found myself really needing some inspiration. It really was the perfect storm of all of my interests. My background is in writing and language and, and music and kind of creative arts, so I really fell in love with the project. I fell in love with Stephanie, basically, and she really convinced me of it being just a really great opportunity to pursue. There aren't a lot of dental books for children that are geared to that age group of one to five years old, and there are especially very few books for an infant that are related to dental health. We kind of thought, why not create our own book that would be targeted towards this younger demographic to fill that void that we saw was there. So then this is the book that the students actually wrote and ended up coming up with, and it's so beautiful and cute. It's a little board style book, and you can see the great use of colors, the simple language, the big text. It even goes through the motions of brushing, so kids are starting to learn dexterity and how to move their hands, and they can touch the pages and count the teeth. It was fun sort of working with the dental students as well as the residents and sort of seeing the impact that this whole project has had and the, just the interest that it sparked and how enthusiastic all of them have been. The whole school embraced this. We were able to find dental students who would come to the clinic and read to the children. The first time I saw a kid with the book, really engaged, smiling, identifying the characters, being able to sound out the words, my heart just burst. The parents were telling us that the books were making their children more excited about brushing and that the books were making them more excited to come for their dental visits. We haven't really seen the full spread of what's going to happen with it and what the impact might be. I think uh, there's room for growth here. I'm so lucky that I was a child who grew up with reading, but every child doesn't get that. And then to be able to give this to every child is really amazing. Up, down, up, down, around and around. Oh, we have some good brushers. You guys are doing a great job with your brushing. 